following winterization instructions are suggestions only. You're going to need to refer to your owner's manual for specific winterizing methods for the RV that you own. We're not going to go over ice makers, washing machines, or dishwashers. Dang, it's getting cold out here. I'm going to have to winterize my RV. All right, let's see here. we got to winterize this RV. How to winterize an RV. Camco's Facebook page. Camco, how do I winterize my RV? Howdy. RV Cowboy here. Let's winterize this RV. Step one, you're going to need to disconnect any outside water source. We're also going to need to bypass the water heater. Draining the water heater will be the last thing that we do. You can get a quick turn RV permanent bypass kit from Camco or other bypass kits. The RV that we have today has one installed already, so we're just going to bypass the water heater. Done. Step two, we're going to want to drain all the water from the lines. You're going to want to open up your faucets, let all the water get out. Also drain your fresh water tank. You can also use an RV blowout plug with an air compressor to blow out any remaining water from your pipes. Alright, now let's head outside. Let's do it. Step three, we're going to want to pump antifreeze through the lines. Today we're going to be using Camco's hand pump kit to do this. So I'm going to need your help. I'm going to have you pump antifreeze and then I'm going to start and open in the hot water first at the highest elevation, which is usually the kitchen sink. We're going to pump antifreeze through that and we're going to do the cold lines. Step by step, we'll go through them all and then we will be winterized. Alright, Cletus. Go ahead. Alright, all right. There we go. Now, as I explained to Cletus out there, while he pumps the antifreeze, we're going to want to start with the highest point on the hot water side and work our way down. We're going to make sure that we get all the sinks and then finish with the toilet. So I'm going to open up the hot water while he pumps the antifreeze through. Come on, Cletus! When we start seeing pink, we're going to want to... Look at that go pink. We know that everything's working right. You're going to want to run at least two pints through there. So we'll run the hot water side. That looks good. And we'll go ahead and run the cold water. Let it get real pink there. And then we'll move to the next faucet. Okay, Cletus. We're on our last step. Pretty easy so far, right? Oh yeah. Okay, last step we gotta do is drain the water heater. We bypassed the water heater, so now we gotta drain it. Just open up your drain and leave it open until springtime. And then we'll shut it when we dewinterize. Alright, we're done. 